Hi, boys and girls. We're going to hit the Investigate Christianity series one more time with a little bit of detail, and we're going to go nice and quick. Okay, so let's work with the computer this time. All right. Investigate Christianity. Why? You can save yourself from pain and trouble by investigating Christianity. Learn, focus, observe, or live and lie. The big dangers of Christianity. You will be surrounded by a lazy peer group, people that you really, really like that are being lazy about certain things. You'll be surrounded by blind guides. You'll be surrounded by people with a personal agenda. You'll be surrounded by people who are disregarding the Holy Spirit. You will be surrounded by ignorance and spiritual evil in nice leadership. You will have wonderful leaders. You'll have wonderful leaders. But you will be unaware that they're ignorant about certain things. You'll be unaware that they're engaging in spiritual evil. And you will actually become also ignorant leadership. Okay, you'll be surrounded by incomplete instructions. You'll be surrounded by worldly materialistic focuses. You'll be surrounded by a false sense of security, thinking that everything's okay when there's some real dangers going on. You'll be surrounded by missing things. You'll be surrounded by a lack of humility. You'll be surrounded by messed up priorities and the people around you. And then sadly, the last thing is you will actually become an ignorant leader who's doing some spiritual evil. Not total spiritual evil, plenty of good things, but some spiritual evil mixed in, which is like sprinkling a little cyanide in some water. Okay, and we're going to cover these topics in a series. Honesty times, proofs that Jesus is God, the two great gifts from Messiah, which are the Holy Spirit and the teachings, the teachings, the teachings, the apostles' teaching. If you hold to my teachings, if you hold to the things that I taught the apostles, if you hold to the things that were in place for the first 300 years, if you hold on to my teachings, then you're really my disciples. You can have the Holy Spirit, and I can say to you, go away, I never knew you, because you didn't care about my oral tradition, my teachings, the things that you are supposed to be doing day to day in your homes and on the street. We're also going to study the mechanics of the spirit realm, the different types of spirits. We're going to study the two kingdoms, the world cosmos kingdom and the heavenly God kingdom. And they are at war against each other. They hate each other. If you hate your life, do not love the things of this world. Okay. And we are going to be called to observe and experience miracles on the street ministries and leaders. We're going, to call, we're going to be called to observe and experience personally the multiplication ministry, Zume Project, Curtis Sargent. We're going to be observing and experiencing the early Christian writings, the anti-Nicene writings. Check out scrollpublishing.com and YouTube. Now, here's why. Here is why. Danger. Danger. You are in the freedom of religion zone. You are in the freedom of religion zone. They're not going to chop your arm off because you're carrying a Bible. You are saturated with information, true information about God. The advent of the internet makes you so responsible to know exactly what you need to be doing. Danger. You're in the freedom of religion zone. Satan attacks in subtle ways. He will get you all excited about one doctrine, one atmosphere, and you'll hang out in that, and you'll miss a bunch of other really heavy priorities that Jesus put on the table. You must focus to obey the little things and the missing things. You have to focus in the freedom of religion to find the little things that people are ignoring, the missing things that pe people are ignoring, and put them in place. If you don't put the little things and the missing things in place, Satan and his demons are going to get license over you because they can say, ha ha, they don't care about doing that thing that Jesus asked the people to do. Leaders and teachers are often missing major priorities while focused on many good things. Leaders and teachers of all sort, I mean, even my favorite, Smith Wigglesworth and a bunch of other people, are often missing major priorities about how to live life, how to work in the home, how to work on the street, 
while they are focused on many good things. And these leaders and teachers that are missing major priorities are giving you a false sense of security. You think you're okay and you've arrived, but you have more study and more experience to get yourself into. You should be looking like you're working on a master's degree in Jesus. You don't have a whole lot of time. You got tests, you got lectures, you got research, you got you have to go from place to place to do field studies. The bigger the movement or the teacher, the more God allows wrong things and missing things to be built in. This is a thing that I've learned that nobody's ever mentioned to me. The bigger it gets, Benny Hinn has marvelous things that happen through him, but he also has many things that are just not right. And so the same with many other movements and denominations. The bigger the movement or teacher, the more God allows wrong things and missing things. Why? Because God wants only true, courageous, persistent seekers of truth in eternity. People that are putting aside their lives. People that are embarrassing themselves, just like in Luke 11. God is not going to come down and give you tortilla chips for your party just because he's your friend. You need to bang on the door. You need to be courageous and persistent in learning stuff. And if you just hang out with your favorite leaders and teachers and chill in your denomination, you're missing major priorities and you've got a few good things and you have false sense of security and God is allowing wrong things and missing things to be in your life because he is trying to figure out who is really the true, courageous, persistent seeker of truth and eternity. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. You're saved. You're saved. You're rescued into eternity. But now you're building. You're building a building. You're building a building. And you can build with cheap materials that God will burn away. Because he only wants true, courageous, persistent behavior. So when you get the gold and silver and precious stones, it's because you have made an emotional payment to keep moving and keep checking out. Keep observing things understanding the teachings, understanding the mechanics of the spirit realm and the battle between the two kingdoms. You cannot just chill out and think everything is okay. And you must investigate Christianity. If you are a person who's standing outside of Christianity because it's stinky, I don't blame you, but you need to investigate because the proof that Jesus is God is very, very heavy. And it's a benefit to you. It's a wonder to you. God is your business advisor. God is your relationship advisor. God will inject you. The kingdom of heavenly God will inject you with peace of mind while everybody else is going crazy. This is Investigating Christianity. Check it out. Come on. Yippee. Yahoo. This is the good stuff. This is the results of 24 years of just sitting in the church mess in America and observing and doing my best to help. And God saying, see how wrong this is? And I'm like, well, should I say something? He's like, no, I'm just showing you the lay of the land. There's a lot of ruin, a lot of wicked stuff that's going on because so much is being ignored. And so, whew, come on, come on, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Thanks for listening.